Hi everyone. Recently in the Cypress Gitter channel, a user was really frustrated and said that Cypress is doing a bad job. The element is there. How come it's not waiting? I have configured the command default timeout, but it never finds it. And luckily the user actually sent me a video and agreed for me to explain the problem and post it publicly. So this is this video that explains the user problem and it's a very common problem that I've been explaining again and again in the Cypress Retriability docs. Okay, so here's a video of a problem. The user is coding a test for this website that pops this little model dialog. The test fills all these properties and now look what it does. When it fills the number, it pops a property and the test is trying to click on the save button right here. It actually checks that it was disabled and when the click is trying to click, but for some reason it never clicks on it. And instead it, the test just dies and says that the element was detached from the DOM. Very frustrating. Okay. Now I do have videos about how to solve this problem and I have some blog posts, but Let's just look at the user code that he shows later in this video. So right here, you can see that the user gets the input, clears it, types it, and then waits two seconds, then finds the button, which contains save and clicks on it. So the same test runs just fine. Right here, it waits two seconds and then it finds the save and everything is peachy. So what's happening? Well, let's look at the failure again. Right about here, the user types an MLS listing number into the input box. Right about here. Now notice, after the user types or the test types, the front end is kicking off a post request to the back end. And there is a progress bar. The application is doing something it's probably fetching that listing, which it will show right below. It's not showing it yet because it takes time to find the listing. Instead, what does the test do? It has no idea that the application is fetching the listing. Instead, the test gets all the buttons, all of them, 12 buttons it finds on the page. It finds the button that has the text save which is probably this button. While this button is disabled, we actually checked it right above and it is disabled. And it only becomes enabled when the listing is returned. And what does the application do in this case? Well, it gets the listing and it probably re-renders this whole dialog. It doesn't just update a single attribute disabled. Instead, it re-renders this thing apparently, right? Or at least the bottom of this dialog. Well, what does Cypress do? Well, it still is working with the button it already found. This button is no longer present in the DOM because it was replaced by this new button that's enabled. And yet Cypress still has the stale reference. It has no idea that all the buttons that it probably considered are gone. And it fails. Why does the two second delay help? Well, the two seconds actually allow the application to fetch the listing, re-render, and then Cypress gets the save button, and by then it never gets re-rendered. So you can solve this in several ways. I highly recommend you read this Cypress Retriability Guide. I've written a long time and it explains the problems. And in this case, the problem is the following, or at least the simplest problem and solution. The user user side get button contains save click. Okay, this is what was showing in the video. Now Cypress finds all of buttons, so it found 12 buttons according to the video right here. Then it found the button that says save and when it clicked on it. The button was disabled, re-rendered and so on. So Cypress waits for the button to be enabled, visible, actionable, but it doesn't go back to the start of this command chain and say maybe I need to find another button that appeared. So by splitting 
By querying commands like get, contains into several things, you run into troubles because the new button save was re-rendered and added to the DOM, but you never even considered it because you already were stuck with something you found that was disabled and you could not click at all. The simplest solution, use a single querying command that will retry. So the contains button save is a much better choice in this situation. Do not use get.contains, use contains and you can pass the selector and the text and that will do what you think it should do. This probably will solve all your problems in this test already. Another thing that you can do is add more assertions. For example, in the video, you asserted that the button was disabled. Then you type the input and it fetched the listing and the button became enabled because it was re-rendered. So why not add another assertion? Should be enabled. And then you click on it. So this will wait until the page will render the button because we've enabled attribute and then you can safely click on it. The button will never change. Another thing that you can do, you can actually wait for this listing to appear because then you know oh, the rendering has finished. So you can say, okay, after you let's say type, you know, two, four, 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 whatever the number, you say, you know, get whatever listing selector is should be visible. This is this listing element. Okay. You can also probably wait for, you know, find listing call that application is making, right? And then check things. I would say this is probably the easiest thing and most obvious. Before clicking on the button, you check that it became enabled and then you click on it. So for more, read the tribality guide. Uh, Cypress version 11 will partially save your, your test a little bit. It will improve the querying chains like this. I'm not sure if it will handle the click or if it will just uh, allow assertions to pass by re-evaluating the whole querying chain. But this is the best thing. Just use a single querying command add more assertions and you should be all set.